If you want to convert the sample data set into a data table like this, or if you want to convert table into a pivot table like this, or if you want to get a monthly report like this, this and much more is coming your way. Hello and welcome to Growth Mindset and this is me Arsalan. Today we will be building the pivot table from the scratch and see how it makes the reporting very very easy. Let's dive straight into the examples. Today we will be seeing that how the pivot table works. We have a table that contains country, brand, month, sales for the year 2013, 14 and 15 and we'll see that how we will use the pivot tables to analyze the data. For that we're going to convert this data into a table and we go in the insert tab over here we go and select table we check mark my table has headers and we press ok now the data has been converted to a table or we can simply press ctrl and t to get the table now next we go in the insert tab again and we select the pivot table and the data has been selected we press ok and again we have here an option new worksheet and we press ok and the pivot table appears in a new worksheet we rename this sheet for our ease and here we have the pivot table field we can select the country brand months and the sales for the three years as it was appearing in the original data set so we begin by selecting the country the country appears in the row section then we select the brand it also appears in the row section now we have the bifurcation country wise as well within each country we have a bifurcation of the brand then we select the sales for instance we select one year 2013 but it is appearing in rows we want this in values so we are going to click it and drag it to values but this is not giving the sum of sales it is instead giving the count of sales whereas we want the sum of sales so there are two ways to do it either you go over here value field setting and you select sum and press ok and you get the sum however when you're going to again select the sales for 2014 you drag it over here in values then you can see that it is again giving the count what if if we want the sum straight away rather than counts now we go back into our sales data and see why this is happening we can see that there are many empty cells and because of these empty cells it is giving count and not the sum of the columns these empty cells are treated as text so what we can do is that we select these three columns and replace all the empty cells with zero and then it is going to give sum rather than count so use ctrl f find and replace find the empty cells and replace it with zero replace all we press ok and now close now before doing anything else we go in the data tab we refresh our data and a pivot table has been refreshed now what we can do is we can uncheck it and now we select sales for the year 2013 14 15 and you can see in cell b3 c3 and d3 it states that it is sum of sales and rather than count of sales now for instance if we want to add the months as well we add months in columns and we make our data a little bit narrower by unchecking years 2014 and 15 so we have the data for the year 2013 as stated in cell a3 and here we see that we have month wise data and a grand total at the end now we can do further filtering we can go over here we uncheck it and we want to see the first quarter breakups and we select january february and march and we see these three months and we see the grand total of the first quarter if we remove the brands from here we have collapsed form of the data but what if if you want to further drill down so we press double press over here and it shows that the data for the 2000 year 13 14 and 15 comprises of these figures and this is the summary format and this is the drill down effect now we add back the brand and what if if we want a little bit of designing we add it to it we can go in the design tab we can select the banded rows and we get the table format of the pivot table what if we want the banded columns 
again we get the banded format for the columns moreover if we don't want the subtotals to be appearing over here in the table like these then we can go in the design tab again we go at the subtotals do not show the subtotals and it removes the subtotal from all the places as it has been removed from here from here and from here now we can see that we have grand total figure as well so we can again go in the design tab we go in the grand totals we are going to press this and it removes the grand totals so you have the flexibility of doing with all the things and one more thing if you have the empty cells as we had before so there is another way first we found it through control f that is find and replace function and we replaced with the zeros and the empty cells now we can use another option once you are in the pivot table click on any cell right click it then go in the pivot table option and and here you see that for empty cells show zero and we can press ok and we're going to get zero for empty cells so that is how you can get the zeros for the empty cells as well you can go over here select the data go in the home tab press the comma for formatting it and here you can see a better version of your table more formatted more streamlined if you have the data like this and we select all the sales years that is year 2013 2014 and 2015 and now you see that we have the pivot table that has the heading of sum of sales 2013 14 and 15 and it doesn't really look great so what we can do is we enter into the cell by either pressing f2 or clicking the formula bar over here and we delete this and we can just give one space by pressing the space bar and we can just press enter and it has changed the name again we go in this cell we delete it all and if we press enter it is giving an error that pivot table field name already exists but for that you need to just give one space and you can change the name again we go over here we just delete all the data give one space by pressing the space bar and we have changed the names now it is looking much better we can go in the home tab enter align it and data appears to be in much better shape and lastly we are going to see that what if we want to expand our data table for instance if we have this column and we have the year 2016 data available so we are going to just copy this column and paste it over here and we are going to give it year 2016 and we can see we have the handle over here we hover over here on the edge of the table and we are going to click it and drag it and bringing year 2016 also in the table this 2016 data is just a copy of year 2015 to show you how we can extend our data table we go in the data tab we refresh all and in pivot table we can see that it has added the sales year 2016 which was not existing before if you click on to this obviously it is going to give the same data as sales 2015 because we have just copied and pasted it just to show you how it works but if the figures are going to be different over there then it is going to be obviously different figures appearing in year 2016 so that's all for today that's how the pivot table works and that's how we can make sure that all the data gets wrangled up in a way that we want to and we can just ensure that whatever variables we want to get in the columnar form or the row form and you can just click and drag and drop and make sure that the data is customized according to your needs well that's all for today thanks for joining me if you've liked the content then make sure that you like and subscribe the channel so see you soon take care and bye bye